Hi everybody, today I wanted to walk you through an e-design I recently completed for a client and talk more about the e-design process and what you can expect if we work together. So with any e-design I do for a client, I'm looking to uh, fill two objectives. The first one is form, and that is helping you determine the look and feel of a space. It could involve creating a mood board, helping with furniture selection, and providing style and decor ideas. The second objective is function, and that relates to space planning and figuring out the layout for a room, how it feels, how it flows. Um, it could involve determining the location of fixtures and fixed elements and helping with suggestions for electrical and plumbing systems. So this is Heidi's basement. Heidi came to me uh, with her architectural plans already in place. And my first step was to put those plans into Floor Planner. I'm using the free version of Floor Planner if you want to try it out yourself. It's a great program. But let me show you um, how this process works. So first step is to uh, put the dimensions of the room, all the windows and locations of doors, all the fixed walls, and put that into uh, the program. For Fro Heidi's project, her framing was already done. So these walls were already in place. Um, she already had some of the rough plumbing done for the bathroom here, and that's about where I came in. So she had a few requirements for this room. Uh, she wanted to keep it as an open concept as much as possible. It's going to be a place for family, uh, her grandchildren, for all of them to gather. They wanted to keep easy access to the backyard here through this door. Uh, she wanted to incorporate a kitchen somewhere. Uh, for potential resale value, it would be great to have a kitchen down here. You could turn it into a separate in-law suite or a basement apartment. Um, and also, one other requirement was location of a fireplace. On the upper floors, uh, the fireplace stack is here. Uh, so we have to determine if this was the best location for a fireplace down in the basement. So keep, so keeping that in mind, I started to uh, place all of the the fixed elements into the room. This was an existing uh, staircase here and I thought of the view when you came down the stairs looking at that fireplace niche. Um, my first determination was this really wasn't the best location for a fireplace. You couldn't really position uh, seating around here without it impeding your traffic flow into the room. Uh, thinking about the kitchen this big long wall here seemed like a logical place to put it and it also tied into the existing uh, vent stack for the plumbing here so that was a good location that's one fixed element that we pretty early on i put in place and the other fixed element was the fireplace i thought this was a great location here and i'll show you what i'm doing with this area and why this makes uh, such a good choice for putting that fireplace Okay, so with all of these sort of fixed elements in the room, we can start to look at form and layering in all of the furniture. Okay, so here you can see uh, the floor plan with the elements in place. Uh, important to note, these are existing columns. So we had to work around those structural elements in there. Um, and make sure everything fit. But you can see we've got down here, this is sort of the main family family area. Uh, great place to gather as a group for the grandkids to play and lots of multifunction put into this room, which I will show you. Over here, we've got the kitchen area, um, really streamlined, sort of a galley uh, style. And then here is a sitting area. So this is a great way to start. Uh, looking at the plan in 2D, but to really understand how it flows, let me show you how it looks in 3D. Okay, so now we've popped into the room and you can see we're looking down towards the sitting area. I thought this was a great place to put a real focal wall. Um, you can start to see some of the decor elements come into play here. I suggested that this particular wall be painted a dark color to really draw your eye in and make it uh, have great presence in the room. Uh, Heidi didn't really specify that this 
basement was going to be used for entertaining, but I envisioned how this would play out. So if she was in the backyard and came in and the night had gotten chilly, where could they entertain and take that party further? So I thought this is a great little place to have a sitting area, four armchairs around uh, a tufted ottoman, sitting around the fireplace, a great place to gather with friends. Take a look around the room. And you can see, so here is the kitchen area. Very simple, um, linear style, a bank of cabinetry against the walls, open shelving above, some accent lighting, and again, a mirror to sort of draw your eye towards that wall. I've centered the sink there underneath the mirror. Uh, this kind of acts as sort of a, a faux window, uh, draws your eye in and, and really makes us feel symmetrical. I've put some other decor elements in here, a bit of a modern, um, just contemporary kind of feel. So a lot of clean line pieces, you can start to see sort of the, the color scheme and the decor that I've suggested. One important thing was to keep the traffic flow. So as you're coming down the stairs, um, Heidi says a lot of traffic flows out to that backyard. This table performs uh, duty as a place to put down trays, to put down food before you bring it out or to stack dirty dishes, that kind of thing. This can also be used as an impromptu flower arranging area, a crafts area, a great place to gather with the grandkids. Okay. So let's talk about viewpoints. As you can see here, here are the stairs coming, coming down. And what you see first is sort of this wall here. Um, I've placed a big piece of art here to really catch your eye and draw you in. Now this area was where the fireplace um, stack from upstairs continued. I really saw a better use for that as uh, open shelving and some built-in cabinetry. This gives you a nice area to display. Uh, again, in some place to, you could treat this as a bar area for after dinner and uh, just a great place to incorporate some extra storage. And this side of the room is uh, the family area, the family room. And I've placed a big sectional here, great for a group to gather and put the TV on that wall. So that really provides you a great uh, focal area and makes sense of this, this zone right here. As you walk into the space, let me show you around. So I've suggested this entire wall here be built in cabinetry and put horizontal planks or V-groove along that wall to give it some dimension and texture and really uh, finish that space out. Uh, you can incorporate some open shelving, but also closed shelving for storage, for off-season items, uh, for grandkids' toys. I thought this is a great little area if they're going to be watching on their computers uh, or drawing and things like that. A great little zone. Okay, so you can see how this flows all together. And that's what a floor plan can really do for you. It can make, help you make sense of the space. Um, let me walk over here. And you can see this area, this hallway leads down to bedrooms in the rest of the part of the basement. And over here, just gives you a great sense of the overall space. So that's what I've done with my, my e-design. Uh, provided this to Heidi, but let me also show you, uh, here's an overview of it, giving you an overview of the different walls, uh, different spaces. But I've also provided Heidi uh, a second decor option. So when you're looking at spaces, think about how you want to use them, not only now, but later. Um, this second design really focuses on the now and, you know, keep designing the space so that young grandkids can really enjoy it. That family room area you saw here, originally there was a L-shaped sec sectional situated here with a TV. If you wanted to keep it really family friendly, this is one layout that I, I saw as having a sofa, keeping those same built-ins, moving the TV here. And this is an open free zone that can be configured for kids with a play table. They can do Legos, they can play with their toys, their dollhouse, that kind of thing. Okay, and really 
lighter furniture, uh, just a different furniture option. This is a harvest table. You can find that at, at antique fairs, uh, a bit more um, budget friendly, uh, just to give you give Heidi a different idea of how to utilize the space. So here's some of the um, the ways that I thought you could uh, outfit the space. Space for the sink, an under cabinet fridge over here, um, built in cabinet for dishware and storage, open shelves for display. So really being explicit about how you could use this space. The other thing I provided was a suggested layout for that 12 foot span of cabinetry. So this particular image was created in uh, the Ikea kitchen planner, a cooktop here, microwave, open shelf for a microwave, sink, pull out garbage, and an under counter fridge. So I've provided suggestions on that as well as they get down further into the construction. Lounge area, different decor items, uh, a different color scheme here, but really the same idea. A fireplace to draw your eye in, provide an entertaining zone. Um, adults can be in this space while the kids are in the, the playroom um, and a space to move in once it gets too cold outdoors. So they're giving you a second look at this room and uh, a, decor, a decor ideas for the space. And with this e-design, Heidi was really pleased with it. Um, these were her comments. Thank you, Jen, for the designs that you provided. We were at a loss as how to think, configure rooms in our basement to meet our needs for the immediate and in the future. Your design work was spot on, and we're now able to move forward with confidence with the construction, knowing how we can furnish this space. You're almost also able to allay, allay our concerns on how to connect a proposed sink to our drain pipes without needing to incur extra costs. Based on your suggestion, our plumber will be able to connect our sink efficiently. We managed to do this during these trying COVID times without feeling that this was a disadvantage. Cannot wait for the construction period to be completed, to be able to furnish the rooms and to start to enjoy the added space with our family and friends. So really that's my objective uh, complete, helping Heidi um, with a space that she can enjoy with her family and friends and really bring it to life in a way that enables her to proceed with the construction, understand where to put her, her uh, sink and fireplace, understand how to convey those plans to her plumber and her electrician, and really move, move forward with confidence. So if I'm able to do this for you, if I can help you with an e-design, please do contact me.